Welcome back to another episode of the Casey Campbell podcast. Casey Campbell with you, of course. Please be joined by Ansel Fader of Trenton High School. How's it going, buddy? It's going pretty good. Thanks for having me. All right. So, um, you know, just wrapped up the regular season. Um, I should I should probably know we did. We are recording this before the selection show today. Um, so, you know, we're, we're obviously we don't know who we have an idea of who who uh, they may play, but obviously the official pairings aren't out at time of recording. So, um, of course, ending the regular season, a big win over a uh, big win over Taylor to wrap up the year, uh, wrap up the right uh, uh, wrap up the regular season portion of the year um what was um what was it like to get the big win on senior on on senior night and uh and the regular season six and three uh you know senior night was fun you know did went out there did what we were supposed to do handled business that was fun and then year six and three I mean you know it could be better but could be worse so just gotta get ready for playoffs can't dwell on the past I mean just just to to come up six and three after an zero and two start um, you know, what does it say about you guys and uh, now entering playoffs, um, uh, now having to, you know, enter into the playoffs um, that coming up next week? Uh, I think it represents us well that we can do that. I mean, we faced adversity, and I think that's something that our team is good against. You know, we face adversity. Our saying is uh, put the ball down, let's play, worry about the next play. So, I mean, we just faced adversity, handled it well, and brought it all back. So what's uh so uh remind everybody what position you play. Uh, I play middle linebacker. So what's it just like being, you know, really a linebacker and stuff? I mean, it's really just there's the on the field stuff, which is, you know, I gotta do my gap responsibilities and all that, but I also I gotta know everyone's job on every coverage, every scheme we have every week. So I mean, gotta make sure everyone's in the right spot so we can have give us the best chance to stop them. So you know, I know. What does it say about the you know, you know, going up and in, in beating a lot of big, of course, beating Allen Park and and Carlson? Uh, what, what what was that like getting those two big wins? You know, head, heading into because you know heading into heading into the season, who knows what what a team would do after the after the zero and two start and stuff. I mean, I think it was a really good like gut check to us, and then sending the message. You know, a lot of people overlooked us after some two two losses but I mean shook shook up the league a little bit by beating those two teams got some respect and you know showed us that we can really play with anyone if we play our best you know now that the regular season you know is over um you know the next game you know the next five weeks um you know the next game could be your last at at any point of any point in the playoffs so you know have you have you had a chance to think about that and how do you feel you know, knowing that you only have just a few more games left of high school football. You know, time just really just, it flies. I feel like yesterday I was a freshman just watching the upperclassmen work. So now it's, it's really now or never. I'm not going to let this game be my last with my, uh, you know, it's just high school football. But, I mean, high school football won't compare to anything above that. So, I mean, just got to play every game, every play like it could be my last. I like it. Um, so – uh, how do you feel like you've uh, improved as a player as the as the season has gone on? Um, well, it all started in the off season. Put on some, put on some weight. You know, we were all working. Coach Glom has us all in the weight room all year. So I mean, that was a big part for me and my teammates beef up a little bit. And then from the season, I mean, uh, after that zero and two start, really just gut check us. Make sure. I mean, I said it earlier in the year. We practice harder than we. We our practices are harder than our games. I mean, we go ones versus ones when we do scout team. We don't hit any underclassmen. We go ones versus ones every day. So that shows, I think. Yeah. Um, you know, how do you feel? How do you feel like? Um, you know, defensively, you guys, as 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 just uh, on the defensive side of the ball, how do you feel like you all have all eleven of you have improved? I mean, I think from week one, you know, we all had. We had our goals set in mind, and we've really just been achieving them as the season's been going on. You know, we're a big momentum team. We say we don't want to let the team, other team run away with momentum, even if it's out of our control. So, I mean, say we turn the ball over, we got to go out there shortly, or they get a big completion. You know, it's always we're, we're coached that you got to run down, you know, just put the ball down, let's play. Even if we can stop them after an 80-yard gain, stop them on the five. I mean, we, we got four plays to stop them in, from getting in the end zone. Okay, I gotta ask you what what is it like just to play, 
uh, in Trenton be a part of this team? Uh, it's it's a blessing, man. I mean, the community is all behind us. Student section's always loud. I mean, we got the the touchdown club. I love them. They're always they got us food every Saturday morning. They're always caring for us. It's great. Yeah. Um, and then just um, you know, going into where whoever you play in the playoffs. Um, as I said earlier, this is being recorded before the selection show. Um, who, depending on who you who you get, what do you feel like you guys need to do to uh? Um, to take that next step and get to the Sweet 16? Uh, I think it's all about focus. You know, can't have any messing around at practice. I mean, like I said earlier, that ones versus ones, we got to really bring it on each other like we're in a game. So, I mean, as long as whether it's PAT we're repping or we're going offense versus defense, we got to really just give the guy across from you the best look as possible. Absolutely. All right, let's uh, let's get to know you a little bit. How about that? That sounds great. Okay, so what's on your playlist? Uh, I bounce a lot, bounce around a lot. I mean, I love NBA young boy, but, uh, so I like rap, but I mean, can also listen to a little eighties classical. So, um, going into this, uh, okay. How do you like mentally get ready for a game? So my game day routine, uh, get out of school. I come home, power nap, wake up, uh, I eat. Two pickles and some pickle juice every time. Okay. Get some food in me. Uh, I pick up my – I pick up people that I drive to the game, get them there, and then, you know, both AirPods in, no talking. All right. Um, favorite player that you looked up to? This could be any sport. Uh, person I always loved watching was uh, Luke Keekley. Okay. Luke Keekley. All right. Former Panthers linebacker. Yeah. Um, Let's see. What is uh, what's uh, what's a what's a TV or streaming show that you're really into or were into in the past? Or that's a good one. Um, I mean, I don't think I watch that much TV. If I'm watching TV, it's just football. But I mean, I liked Outer Banks when it came out, and I'm still watching that right now. Uh, finally, what is something people do not know about you? Something that do not know about me. Uh, I got two siblings that support me every game. I love them. Absolutely. All right. Well, Ansel, thank you so much for the time as always. And we'll, uh, we'll talk to you soon. Talk to you soon. Thanks for having me.